Previously, I'm 24. 24. Do y'all remember 24? 24 was a pretty fire series and also brought us some pretty great guns. As someone suggested in my top 10 James Bond guns video, if you haven't checked it out yet, click on the card above. Why don't you do something similar for Jack Bauer? To which I say to you, sir, what a fantastic idea. In today's video, we are gonna do just that. We're gonna talk about the top 10 guns from 24. Now these are guns used by either Jack himself or significantly featured within the 24 franchise. Now when I refer to 24, I'm only referring to the TV series, which is season one through season eight. So the movies, I'm leaving that out. Well, as well as that obscure PS2 game. Number 10, the Remington M870. Let's start this list off with a bang. I always want to try to make room to fit a shotgun in any of these lists. And seeing that there was pretty much no shotgun in the James Bond list, I felt like this is the one I had to start with an M870. Probably the most recognizable shotgun, the M870 is essentially the shotgun that comes to mind when we think about a pump action. The M870 first showed up in season two and made five subsequent appearances. It was only left out of seasons one and six. The airsoft variants that I would like to recommend to you are the Tokyo Marui M870 as well as the APS Cam 870. These are two fantastic examples of shotguns that can be both either green gas or CO2. Number nine, the Remington 700 AICS. The Remington 700 AICS is essentially the Remington M700 in an AICS stock from Accuracy International, as AICS stands for Accuracy International Chassis System. The gun is used by many SWAT operators and other main characters of the series. Most notably, it is usually featured with a suppressor. The airsoft variant that I'm gonna recommend is the Tokyo Marui L96, which, well, if you get it in black, is essentially the same gun. Not to mention that it shares almost as many aftermarket upgrade parts as its bigger brother, the VSR-10. Number eight, the IMI Uzi or Micro Uzi. The Uzi is an extremely iconic gun and over the years it's been used by good guys and bad guys alike. In 24, both the full-sized and Micro Uzi enjoyed a fair amount of screen time. They debuted in season one and has been in every subsequent season up until season six. In Airsoft, we yearn for a full-sized Uzi, but during the making of this video, well, there's just not one to be found. However, what I can recommend for you is this CO2 powered mini Uzi. This guy has got a satisfying blowback, the classic Uzi lines, and will surely hit the spot to satiate your need for this classic. Number seven, the Walther PPK. When I made the James Bond list, I said there was something about the PPK that just made it so perfect as a spy gun. Something about its sleek lines and compact size. The PPK has even made its way into 24. Starting with a strong appearance in season one, it has been in five seasons after for a grand total of six seasons. The PPK is just that good. The airsoft variant comes by way of Japan. Maruzen is the company that makes it, and even though it is plastic, let me tell you, it is so well made that even up close, you could potentially be fooled into thinking that it is a metal gun, even though it is plastic because of Japanese laws and regulations. And with that, the PPK makes it to our list. And allow me to repeat myself, it's just that good. Number six, M4 and M16s. 24 is an American show featuring American agencies. Seeing the M16 or M4 is America's gun, you know we had to put this on our list, right? But I think the number six spot is about right. It's been in every season, all eight of them. Seeing that season one of 24 came out in 2001, I felt like it was only right that we recommend something to you guys in about that time. So the gun I would like to recommend is the Tokyo Marui MWS carbine version. It comes with a heat shield and carry handle for all that kind of retro goodness. Number five, AK variants. With the M4 M16s on the list, you know its rival, the AK, will not be far behind. But unlike the M4 and M16s, the AK has only been in seven seasons of 24 and didn't make a return for season eight. 
probably needed to call itself a better booking agent, right? Am I right? So why at number five and not previously on number six? Well, simply put, just like the James Bond list, there's just more variants. Everything from Norinko Type 56s seen in season one and two to AKM variants seen in all other seasons. There's just more variety. In Airsoft, there's about just as much variety as the real steel version. Companies like SEMA, LCT, GHK, and Tokimurui make fantastic examples of AKs. Speaking of which, it is as if we just did like a top 10 AKs video. Click on the card above or in the description below. You'd be surprised. Number four, MP5 variants. Seen in all eight seasons, 24 can almost be renamed MP5 The Series. Or you can even play a game with your gun buddies called Guess That MP5. Everything from the first one seen in season one, the MP5A2, to a variety of MP5K variants, which include the PDW version, they're all hard to miss and pretty easy to spot. In Airsoft, where do we even begin? MP5s have been a very important cornerstone in our little community, and Tokimuri has been making examples of this gun for quite some time. And of course, don't forget all the awesome gas blowback versions that VFC has brought us by way of Umarex. Guns like the MP5K PDW, fantastic. Or the one I recently shot against the MPX, the MP5A4 AEG version. That one is also really good. Now, in the description, I have two other guns recommended. I don't wanna spoil it, so you're gonna have to just go to the description Find this particular placement, click on it, and see which other two I've recommended. Number three, the Glock 17 and 19. What is a gun list without some of our favorite boxy wonders from Austria, the Glock? Making its debut in season one, we can see a blonde Jack Bauer use the Glock 17 Gen 3, and the Glock 19 was also featured in the same season as well. Glocks have been in all eight seasons of 24, and they were widely used throughout the series. Glocks are probably one of the most popular pistols in all of Airsoft. And to be honest, I can't blame them. They just work. And one Glock that I would particularly like to highlight is the one from GHK. The GHK Glock 17 Gen 3 not only mirrors the Glock 17 Gen 3 that we've just talked about in this particular spot on our list, it also has recoil like nothing you have seen out of a green gas gun in Airsoft. If you want a hard kicking and a hard shooting Glock, oh man, you will be hard pressed to find something better than this particular one from GHK. Number two, P228 and 229. Now, I don't know if you knew about this, but the original hero gun Jack Bauer used right at season one was the SIG P228. The P228 and 229s used were two-tone stainless steel slide and black frame pistols that were incredibly good looking, but only saw use until season three to make room for the eventual hero gun of the series, the one we've all known and associate now with 24. But before all that happened, these were the ones that started off the franchise. There have been several pistols that carry the fabled SIG P22 series, such as the aforementioned 228, and who could forget the 226? The 226 was never used in the 24 franchise, but it's always been a popular option. Recently, SIG has even released their compact P229. However, if you're looking for something more modern from SIG, you can always check out the P320 M17 and M18s. Honorable mentions, AA12. Though it only made one appearance in the whole franchise in season seven, the AA-12 is just so dang cool. And I think it's a rather unique choice of gun to go with. Not to mention, even though it only showed up in one season, it's a pretty recognizable gun. And it's been featured in other media during its time in movies as well as video games. The Tokyo Marui AA-12 is pretty cool as well in its own right. With that gun, you'll be turning heads and clearing rooms like you've done never did before. The Beretta 92FS. For the longest time, the Beretta M9 and its variants have been the hero gun. If you watch any movie from the 80s and 90s and even to this day, I'm pretty sure that you'll find this pistol in it. While it wasn't the hero gun in 24, it's been in all eight seasons. Why only an honorable mention? While it was prolific, it seems to have been overshadowed by other firearms on this list. 
but it is deserving of an honorable mention nonetheless. There have been M9s and 92 FSs all throughout Airsoft and so many different companies make them. But the one I would like to recommend to you guys is the ones from Tokimurui. Very, very good, as well as a good upgrade path as well. Number one. H&K USP USP Compact. Jack Bauer first came into contact with his future sidearm way back in season two and used a suppressed full-size H&K USP. When season three came around, the USP Compact was made the hero gun and was subsequently featured as the Jack Bauer pistol ever since. The USP Compact is a really cool gun and it was synonymous with Jack Bauer and 24 just like how the PPK was with James Bond. Its styling is very relevant to the time, and to this day, it aged incredibly well. The USP still is one of the coolest guns you can get your hands on. See, USP compacts are cool, but the gun I wanna recommend for you guys is the full-sized USPs, simply for the fact that it has a little bit more flexibility when it comes to holster options, and you can get the Picatinny rail adapter to mount different lights and lasers onto your full-size USP. More importantly, this particular full-size USP that I would like to recommend to you guys comes ready and powered by CO2. So if you live in a colder climate, you can still enjoy that glorious blowback of that CO2 pistol without having to worry about, you know, performance drop off like if you use green gas. Now that was my personal list of the 10 guns seen in the 24 franchise. Now, as I was doing research for this video, I felt like whoever curated these guns put a lot of effort and heart into selecting specific guns for specific seasons for specific characters. Whoever did this, I felt like they had a sense of passion into firearms as well. So I highly recommend you guys, if you're gun guys and you've watched this series before, or if you've never done it before, go back and rewatch it. You may be surprised in some of the selection that comes up. Now, with that said, if you wanna find any of these cool products or videos featured in this particular video, product-wise, go to www.rebelfairsoft.com. And for videos, you can click on the description below and find other associated related videos to the products and guns that we've talked about in the making of this video. Now, if you like it, give us a like. If you thought it was cool, share it with your friends. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe and click the notification bell so you know every time we upload a new video. Whew. And with all that said, guys, until the next time, I'll catch y'all later.